let's practice some polynomial expansion. So when we see a question like this involving a cube, some binomial cubed, it's good to remember that we can rewrite it as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 or even 2x plus 3 squared if you recall or if you ever learned exponent law it's the same thing as anything is to itself to the exponent 1 and you would simply add the exponents to get the number 3 so we know that this is the same thing as this and based off that I'm going to write this as 2x plus 3 and I know FOIL so we can come up with the answer right away the first term squared is 2x times 2x is 4x squared and then the trick to find out do FOIL quickly when we're dealing with a binomial squared is to say what is this times this this is 2x times positive 3 is 6x and double it so we get positive 12x 3 times 3 is 9 so we went from here to here you're probably wondering what just happened there but if you actually rewrite it as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 and you FOIL it out, you see that binomial squared, you can find it out quickly by simply saying this times this, double it, becomes your middle term. And once we're at this point, some of you may actually simply use distribution where you would go this times this, this times this, this times this, etc. However, to be more reliable, consider using this method here. So I'm going to write the bigger part on top here and then I'm going to write the smaller part this is a binomial instead of a trinomial on the bottom here and I'm just going to multiply old school style it causes less errors positive 3 times positive 9 is positive 27 notice that we're keeping the signs positive 3 times positive 12x is positive 36x positive 3 times positive 4x squared is positive 12x squared. 2x times 9 is 18x. 2x times 12x is positive 24x squared. And don't forget this last part here. 2x times 4x squared is going to be positive 8x cubed. And this is where we just drop everything down and add what we have is 8x cubed plus this is 36x squared and this is a positive sign here by the way this is plus 54x plus 27 and the reason why this technique works is called the vertical method instead of just expanding here this way is that we're automatically gathering terms so there's less chance of mistakes so here is our final answer. These questions are pretty straightforward in terms of understanding, but in, in order to actually follow through without making mistakes, it's a little bit harder. You have to work on your math abs, your core, your foundations, your algebra, as long as it becomes sound, and this will be the foundation of you succeeding in future bigger problems.